Hey guys, Raquel has a photo booth. If you guys are interested for your event. I got two photo booths. Yes, she has two photo booths. She has a DSLR <coughs> camera photo booth. So the picture quality is insane. It's gonna be like something that from Macy's, right? Like, so any parties, wow, quinceaneras, shots. weddings, um, barbecues, anything you guys want. Graduations, like, Graduations, baptism. like check, it, check her out. Hit her up at Raquel Diaz Designs. Um, how, like anything else for that? Oh, she has also has another photo booth where it's the selfie, selfie booth. Selfie booth, and digital only. Digital only, no prints, because the the DSLR camera has the prints, and she makes custom custom overlays. Overlays where you could put your event name or congratulations so and so or happy birthday so and so. Um, yeah. Uh, so she has two booths. Let us know. Uh, we're in the Central Valley area, and then the we do uh, travel Bay Area area, the Bay Area <laughs> area. <laughs> and if you guys, <laughs> if you Bay guys, Area area, if you guys are farther, there is a fee uh, for a travel cost. But other than that, yeah, hit her up. Good to go. Yep. All right. Love you guys. I, I haven't told you, but oh god, I get to the bar yesterday, okay. and. Because I, I bounced at the bar at Five Points in San Jose. And this divorce guy came up to me. How do you know? Well, no, no, no. Okay, so this old man comes up to me and he he starts telling me, I saw the most beautiful, the most gorgeous Asian woman. And and he just starts telling me. It's, it's weird. When you work the door, it's weird because people just, like, tell you their drunk stories, right? Okay. And he's, like, goes on about this. And he kept on this specifying like she's asian like she's this most beautiful korean or he's all vietnamese w woman and i'm like jesus and he's all <clears throat> she has to come out i i want to show can you go to the back real quick and i was like no i can't i'm working right now <laughs> like you know and then he starts How telling old me do you think he is uh, he has to be like 50s in his 50s and he he keeps on going on and he's telling me like he doesn't really know how to be in this atmosphere he's from philadelphia and he what he, atmosphere like the part like at the bar or yeah the, or uh, like a single life n well both kind of he 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 said that he he's like recently divorced and he's never really gone downtown he was married for 27 years and it just ended and now he's trying to figure things out he's trying to figure out what he's going to do with himself and even like first of all in my head i'm like dude i I'd, I'd be at home by myself if i'm if i'm finally divorced like i'm like finally <laughs> <laughs> if if i'm like i'm going to go home yeah especially if i'm that like he had white hair i don't think so you're you full of so? it no you'll be out I think for you be out trying to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> trying, there's no try with me. <laughs> I mean, never mind. <laughs> no, but he, but he kept on going on. He's like married for 27 years, and I was like super interested. Like most people, I'll just like, okay, dude, you need to leave me alone, get away from me, you're drunk. But I was like super interested in like he's from Philadelphia, and now he's trying to figure things out as like a 50 something year old but man. But why San Jose? Like why California after Philadelphia? Did he say why? I guess he has a friend out here. Oh. And he said it was more of a like spontaneous thing. Like he, the way he made it sound like he just got divorced yesterday. Oh. Like it was just like, it was clearly it was like just happened. And it was just talking to him. Some people just don't have the gift of gab. Or don't have or, the or gift it, of what gift of gab, talking, like being able to talk to people and and you never heard the gift of gab? No, I've never heard that saying. No, no. Oh, the gift of gab, like well, maybe I know what it is. It's like because like growing up, I like this rapper named Gift of Gab. That's his rap name. Yeah, but it, it means like it, it. It. Let's see. <clears throat> it's like people that know how to like. Like salesmen, they use it like the gift. They, oh, he has the gift of gab. Oh, look at what you put it. Yeah, in, that's the, the rapper. rapper yeah. popped up. It just says anything about the rapper. It doesn't say anything. Yeah. About so like if you just if you just look up, what does gift of gab mean? Gift of gab mean. <clears throat> 
It says the ability to speak with eloquence and fluency. Oh. Yeah, you're just a good talker. I definitely don't have that. And this is coming like, I don't know. But no. So he doesn't have the gift of gab. He's okay. like, he doesn't know how to talk to people. I go, just go in there and talk. <clears throat> to. He's like, I don't know how to talk to these people. He's like, they're all younger than me. I was like, they're not. Like that. They're not? <laughs> Five points is like uh, 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 on bar, Sunday nights. Bar it's like work, older people or what? No, the bar that I work at, it's a, it's, it's, it's like thirty five and older. Okay. And then they they have like the young crowd too, but like it's not just young people; it's all over the place. It's a diff- different range of age. Yeah, and well, uh, yeah, all of San Pedro Square is all like they have a bunch of different stuff there, so you're gonna get a different group of people there in that area. Yeah, but it, it's changed a lot. Oh yeah, for sure it has. It's not a it, it before. I remember going downtown. Is the old wagon there still? Mm-hmm. I remember going downtown, and it wasn't. I n- never felt like I could walk around and enjoy. It. Like it was a little bit more sketchy, right? Downtown, yeah. Right now it's like now. The whole San Pedro Square is like blocked off, and it's you. Did just they have that only because of COVID, or did they have it like that before? Because I know, like when they did have like events, they did like block that area off. But it was also a way to get in to go to the parking garage. Now you have to go in. You have to go like all the way around. From what I hear, it's it, it started because of COVID, and oh. they never took it away. Right? I think it's I think it's better though. Oh, it's way better. Because then they also have those shops, too, like, right on the sidewalk, like, underneath the parking structure. Like, those little, like, shops that they have there. Yeah. They're, like, l- tiny shops. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know you're talking about. They have the the mochi plate. I don't know if it's mochi. No, it's, like, I don't know. But I know what you're talking about. There are yeah. little, tiny, little hidden yeah. stores in there. But it's changed. And this this guy was just kept on going on, and it made me think. It was like, man. I can't wait to get divorced and not be able to talk to girls. <laughs> no, but like in my head, I'm like, that wouldn't happen to me. Like, I, I, Raquel leaves me like that. I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't know. I would know. You'd be at home eating your fillings. <laughs> <laughs> I would know on how to like talk to people and hang out with people. This guy looked like he just. Maybe he doesn't have any friends. But that's what I'm saying. Like, he looks like he's been out of the loop. And, and he was like, because I told him, I was like, dude, I've been married for 10 years. And it's been going pretty good. The first two years were rough. And he's like, what? First like, five years. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, what? Like, you're crazy. Like, what do you, I was like, what do you think Girl, gets you guys going? We only going? knew each other six months and we got married. Yeah. Come on, dude. But then I told him, I was like, well, we, like, well, first of all, like, there's no, there's in our in our marriage there's i told him like there's i do what i want she does what she wants like there's no as when we say we do what we want it's not we see other people we sleep with other yeah, people open it's not like that it's we do not it's we have our own hobbies can we have an open relationship i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> don't throw that out there don't throw that out okay. there what does that even mean <laughs> what the fuck does that mean okay what <laughs> you're gonna get yourself mad <laughs> okay what happened <laughs> what were you saying i said we have our own hobbies we have our own things we like like that's what we mean when we say we do our own thing yeah yes we're together but we're not together Every moment of the day doing something with each other. Yeah. And it, it some people, and this is where I, where I, like as a husband, as a father, this is where I, I struggle, right? Uh-huh. I even tell you, like, <clears throat> because it's, it's that balance of, of being home, being with your, with your family, and then that balance of like, doing what you need to do for your career for Mm -hmm. your outside right and i think some people forget that yeah i think people they end up getting divorced and they're like where am i you know it's because they were so consumed with the other person they don't have anything after that to go back to yeah or to even go with to you know what i mean yeah but it's it's crazy because like you would think okay if you consume yourself in it that person will stay with you 
Yeah, no, but, you might just make that person tired. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, you don't consume yourself, and they're like, oh, okay, like, I guess being independent. Like, I have underst- I understand you now where it's – I used to get mad at you because I was I, – I, it's like, you want me – you want to hang out with me when I'm gone, but then when I'm here, you don't – like, you give me a hard time. Like, it's just like – you want me to hang out with you when I'm not here. Uh-huh. And then you you don't want me to hang out with you when I'm here. Uh-huh. It's more complicated than that. It's not that simple. But basically, right? But I've learned that it's not it's not that you want to hang out with me. You just, there needs to be at least one day out of the week where I'm just here. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean like you need to be fucking. Even uh, if we're just sitting on the couch on our phones. Watching TV back and forth. Yeah, and and it's such a hard. Th- I've heard older <laughs> men tell me that. I've heard older like people tell me that that have been in longer relationships, longer marriages. Like, there you just need to be present. And yes. I think that you just need to be present. And and to me, it's like, why am I present if you don't even want like? You know, and it, and I just I needed to work through that, right? And. I start, I'm starting to understand it. St- you do have your flaws sometimes. I think when, well, like you, you push me away, and then you want like, I think that's just that's. I'm just, playing hard to get. <laughs> like you, there ain't no playing hard to get. Like, it, it, like I'm already like we're already here. Like, there's no. <laughs> you gotta keep it spicy. <laughs> this is not keeping it spicy. <laughs> uh. No, it's been a while since we podcast, and yeah, quite a few things happened. How long has it been? It's been a few uh, months. Few months. Few months. Yeah, we have, we right. we had some stuff going on. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Right, like a whole transition <coughs> in, into my, a transition into my career that I'm still <coughs> just even trying to figure out. Right to to be able to step back and and acknowledge my like acknowledge what I'm doing. What I like it was it was a good thing. It took some getting used to, like, but it it was a good thing. And and but we were gonna start talking about, and you were like, "Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on." Was what? Oh, Eva's ankle. Oh yeah, I think the last time we podcast, we were saying like, "Oh, we're gonna go to Oregon. Our daughter has a tournament." Yeah. Uh, so we get up there. It's a two day tournament. We get we drive up there what on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Drive up there Sunday in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, it's a good little drive. It's just us, me and him. Eva already left with the school, with the, her team and stuff like that. And, um, like, little scenic routes, you know, stopping here and there. And we get there, and uh, we're relaxing. And, you know, we're trying to catch up on work before we go for these tournaments, these two days. And first, first day, Monday... We watched the first game. They had back to back. Good game. They won. Great. We take a what, like thirty minute break? Yeah. Thirty minute break. We go to Starbucks. We get some coffee. We go back over there. Then it's the start of the second game, and it's already halfway through, right? Halfway through the game. Yeah, you're. They're getting close to the end. Yeah, they're getting close to the end. So it's already halfway through the game. He was up to bat. She hits it. She gets on uh it was a full count, right? Mm-hmm. It was full count. She hits it. She goes to first. She's still second. And then she's still in third. And their coach put into them, like, no matter what, you slide for everything. No matter what. Doesn't matter. Slide. So she's still in uh, third. And they're playing on turf. And she goes to slide. And next thing we know, she's on the floor. We're like, what the hell? Like, she's laying there. Well, her foot gets stuck in the turf. She rolls it and breaks her ankle out there. Second game, first day. So, that was fun. It was such an awkward slide, too. Yeah. Like, she hit the ground, and she rolled over, and she just grabbed her knee. And she's had knee problems, and we're, me and Ricardo were like, oh, her fucking knee. And then she just stayed on the ground, and we're like, what the fuck? And, and then, so she came back to the dugout. And her foot was already swelling up. Yeah. And they, the one of the coaches was like, oh, she just sprained it. And I thought she sprained it too. Yeah, because I did like, too. 
one thing I found out about Eva breaking her ankle is my daughter's tough. Like I used to always yeah. think of, like, oh, she couldn't be able, she wouldn't be able to handle it, or, <laughs> like an injury or something like that. Like her pain tolerance is so low, you know. But it is actually super high, higher than I thought because yeah. she's just sitting there and she has a tear coming down, but she's not in pain. She's we, just, at well, this she's point, pain, we, at this point, we don't know what's going on with her. Yeah. We just think it's a sprain. She hurt herself. We didn't think anything serious. Yeah, and. I mean, I've had my fair share of sprains. I've I fractured my ankle before. I and I, I a sprain to me. That's just like okay, you get over it. You know, you walk it off later. Yeah, you, you literally <laughs> can, sometimes walk you it can, off. Sometimes you can still train on it. Like yeah. you're immobile in one area of your body, but you can still train your other part of your body. And then, uh, so we get back to the hotel, and she's sitting there icing it, and we fall asleep for a few hours. Me and her. I. I was like, where does it, I feel, still feel bad yeah, for it you to this feel day. Yeah, you should feel bad, asshole. I grab her foot, and I'm like, I'm like, where does it hurt? And I turn it. I grab her foot, and I, I don't turn it. Like I just go right to left. I go, where does it hurt? Thinking that it's sprained, <laughs> right? And because if you see, if you would have seen the slide, you would not think it got bro- it broke. She broke. Yeah, you didn't, yeah. you didn't think she broke it. And so I'm like, okay, where does it hurt? Thinking like she's, <laughs> she's just, <laughs> she just has a low tolerance. Right. And she just starts bawling. She just starts bawling. I'm like, oh, fuck. And then we take off the boot. We take off the cleat and her foot is just swollen. I'm like, her oh, ankle a- is like it literally looks like a softball right there. Yeah. I was like, it's I, I feel like an asshole. Yeah. You and, should. Uh, ugh. And that's when um, we call one of the we call the coach and I was like, oh, can you come to the room? <laughs> he walks in. He looks at Eva's ankle. He looks at this. He's like. Yeah, take her to the emergency now. <laughs> yeah, we took her. We're there. Oh, God. We were in Oregon for, I mean, we were in Medford, the ER for about Oregon. 10 hours. Yeah, we were there for a good, yeah. Uh, and we came back. She she got her cast. She fin- She recently just got her cast off. It was like a month and a half. Yeah. And it was probably, it was a struggle. Like, it was like <laughs> our schedules, like, got taken, like, for the first week. I'm taking her up and down the stairs. First two weeks. I two think. weeks. Yeah. yeah. I'm carrying her up and down the stairs. Um, she she was immobilized. Like it's, it was, it was just. It like, was. It's hard on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was hard because like, you get used to. You don't realize like, oh, she's doing everything on her own. Like we yeah. don't have a kid anymore. Like yeah. she's almost a full grown adult and and. Her independence has gotten super high. You don't realize that until she needs help. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. I but then you were carrying her up and down the stairs. I was helping her shower every other day, yeah. making her food, taking it up to her, coming back down, making sure she had whatever she needed. And it just so happened on that week, too. The fall. So she was she she was on. So they left on the tournament. It snowed. We came back on that Wednesday. She had an appointment that Thursday. The next day was a Friday. She didn't go to school. And then the following week was spring break. So she was out that whole week already. So thank God that happened. There yeah, was spring break. Miss, so, miss yeah. Um, so that was a plus. No school for that first, like, two weeks. And then now she's able to go up and down the stairs by herself on her butt. She's not walking on it yet. Almost walking on it. Almost. She should be starting soon. But she's, you know, she's taking her own showers now. She's getting her own things that she can get and which is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. But uh, we told her she has a lot of chores to catch up on when she gets back from being hurt. <laughs> yeah. And, and it was like. I'm. I'm going to. what? Uh, well, so she breaks her ankle. We come back a few days later. Then a day after that is her birthday. She turned 17 with the broken ankle. Yeah. We couldn't do anything. So she comes back. We come back. She turns 17. She has a broken ankle. Well, that temporary cast that they have on her from the hospital. Then she goes to prom with the cast, too. And that's not fun. Then she's not playing, obviously, softball anymore because of, you know, so she's not on varsity anymore. (laughs) So it's just a lot of stuff. Well, she's still on varsity. Well, I mean... She wasn't on. She wasn't playing anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Uh. So it was like a lot of stuff going on. But we got through it. It was cool. But it made me realize, like, I, I love that little girl. And we're going to be in her her life for a long <clears> time. <throat> and I'm proud of her. That it just, everything she does. Like, that, that her friends, like, dropping her off at school and seeing how her friends are. They look at me like I'm fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but her friends, she has, she picked really good friends. She has and, good friends, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm happy about it. Like, I, I'm... She's a pro on the crutches now. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we we, I bought I bought my friend's uh, scooter, leg scooter. We got, we got her a wheelchair. wheelchair. We didn't want her using the crutches, but there's a there's a thing that she picked. Yeah, and I was like, she still can't use the scooter though, the way her leg is bent. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Uh, that was that was a. That was. The most expensive trip we ever took. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't pay for the... Yeah. Everything was covered medically, right? Yeah. But other than that, like, I just did Compton's uh, fight promotion. He had he had a Gilroy High School. That was fun. Um, it was different. Yeah. I wasn't used to them having something, like, at a high school. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It, it was, like... It was good because they didn't have any alcohol there. Yeah. And the last one we went to, there was like a fight that uh, fight that broke out, people throwing alcohol. So it was a good thing that they didn't have any alcohol <laughs> at this one. But it takes the fun out of it too. <clears throat> like the, I feel like the crowd was, I feel like the crowd gets more like the morale. Yeah, I get. The, I think they're more cheery when there's a little alcohol thrown in there. Yeah, yeah. but not when everybody's fighting. It's not fun for everybody yeah. else. Like if people understood and knew how to like handle their alcohol and. Oh, believe me. And I, are just okay with an outcome of a fight or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Or the decision and not making it more than what, it, like, obviously everybody's emotions are high. Someone wins, someone loses. So the one person's happy, one person's not happy. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but the one that we went to, the last one that we ha did in Santa Cruz, that one was crazy. People throwing beers. They were, like, fighting. Come on. I loved it. I was like, <laughs> I, I was like, I can't deal with this. I was like, I loved it. That was fun, but no. it was, it was cool. It was, and then it, uh, so I, I saw, I saw ant dog cause it, the, the hometown was, was for ant dogs MMA and they, uh, the central coast fighting mm -hmm. championship. They highlighted them and I seen their team. I seen the young guys fight and I seen, uh, I seen the, I, I, I've watched them three times already. Dude, you had one tall can. Relax. I'm not even drinking it, dude. Uh, Relax. Um, and I seen them a few times, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go check out their gym. And so I checked them out, and I like it. And I, I've been going for two weeks now, and it's fun. They have a really good team morale, and and a bunch of young, young, young MMA fighters. Uh huh. Like uh, Andrew Toasty, uh, Alan. I can't say his last name. Salonik. But that dude, that dude, I see him fight, and uh, I was like, "Oh man, this guy's really, really good." Just like little things you could watch, and <clears throat> and it just and then Isaac, um, they're all young. That's what's yeah. cool, and and I wanted to go check it out. And my buddy Jim, who's young too, no, <laughs> he's a little older, <laughs> but uh, I get to see them, and and uh, I think I'm gonna start going there full time. So mm. it's pretty cool. That's good. Yeah, I'm excited to be be going over there and and uh <clears throat> anthony figueroa uh i was i was actually watching some of his fights and he fought at the playboy mansion i forgot how, like i you see how far like when you watch these these past fights you see how far m mma has come right the way they promote it the way they, oh yeah like tap out the pl they had a fight at the playboy mansion like all these old, uh, all, like in the early two thousands, it was all about like more uh, blood and action and knockout. Like you know, what I mean? like it's just like it was so cringy. Now it's it's like it's the sport. Like it's the sport. It's like the sport just the sport sells itself. Yeah. Right. Like you, you see the matchup and you're like, oh, I want to watch that. You know. Yes. 
I feel like I haven't really watched. Dude, why are you all clammy for? Oh, my God. I feel like I haven't really watched. Like, I feel like right now there's no fighters that I'm interested in. Like, oh, let me watch them. Before there was, like, a few years ago when we used to watch it a lot, Mm -hmm. you know? But now I feel like uh, there's not that many that I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to see so-and-so fight. Yeah. Um, I think like, cause you like Brandon Moreno, right? Mm-hmm. He hasn't fought in a while. I think just your favorite fighters haven't fought or retired. Like Cowboy Cerrone's not fighting anymore. Oh yeah. Michael Bisbane. Michael Bisbane's not fighting anymore. <laughs> you just need to find the new <laughs> fighters that you like. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Um, but we went to go see Guardians of Galaxy. Oh yeah, that was fun. I cried. Ah, uh, it was it was it was sad. But then see, I, I cried through the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like this, like. And it, you, uh, we, <clears throat> so if you don't want to know what happens in Guardians of the Galaxy, turn it off or skip over this. <laughs> um, but spoiler alert. <laughs> And so, like these, ant- the if you watched it, the uh, rocket, the raccoon, his friends die. Like it's it's his origin story. The basically, it's basically the origin story of Rocket Raccoon. Of how Rocket uh, um, became Rocket. Yeah, it's not the Guardians of the Galaxy story. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's like Rocket Raccoon's origin story. And it's at first, I was like, man, this is so sad. It's a good movie. And then after like thinking about it, talking to my buddy Alan, and and I realized, I was like, why did I watch Guard? Why did I start watching Marvel? Why did I start watching uh, these comic book movies? Was for the action. Uh huh. There was one good action scene. Which Other one? That, the one where they're, they're, um. At the end? No, when they're in the, like the. Um, oh, oh, oh. I know you're the talking about. The or whatever. What were they in? When they went to go steal, like, the keypad, the yeah. code. And okay. they're fighting the guards and all that stuff. Okay, yeah. That was such a cool action scene. But other than that, it was like, where's the action? Oh. Like, the first Guardians was awesome. Yeah. It's like, if I want to watch drama, I'll go watch a drama movie, like, you know? Yeah. I just feel like it's not, where'd the action go? I don't know. I just, they just. It, if it was humans, like I feel like I feel like you and Eva, if it was humans that like if the origin story was of of like uh, of what's the Star Lord, if it was his origin story where he got captured into like a scientific scientific experiment and he got he met his friends in the in the in the prison uh-huh. and then his friends died, but he didn't die. I feel like you wouldn't cry as much. The only reason why you it's cried was because the animals. Yes, probably. That's <laughs> probably it. Yeah. I was like, that's definitely it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It was okay. Um, would I watch, would I have watched it? If I would have known, I would say, it w- I think you would have watched it. Yeah. X-Men was worse. I think you would have watched it still, right. regardless. If even if you knew about how it was, I think you still would have watched it. I would still rank this over the new <coughs> Thor. You didn't like the God and Thunder, or no? I like this one. Really? Yeah. I like both. I didn't like the new. I'm Thor. just yeah. Maybe because they're not on Earth and it's gone so much, not believable. Well, I. Like, Obviously, it's not believable. I want to see them fight on Earth. I don't want to see them fight. Well, they did fight on Earth. Everybody disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to see. You just want to see action. That, and then I, I kind of like the, I like the human aspect. I don't like the, hu- I like the human. A- see, I'm a big sci-fi fan, but I don't like the Marvel and into the gal like they're going to different dimensions and galaxies. I like the human aspect of superheroes. Does that make sense? But like I like that there's a human there's a human aspect to them that they're still human but they've gotten these superpowers. Okay. I like that. I don't like the aliens and the different universes and and I like Iron Man who's this who's a smart guy He's rich, rich. <laughs> and he's built these things and he has this thing inside his heart and and he's he but he's still human. Uh-huh. Captain America, 
he's human, but he got these basically steroids, and it's making him into the superhuman so- soldier. And but the same at the same time, he's human. He's still in love with this girl that he lost because he's he can't die, or he's he lives forever. He lives for a long time, and he's still in love with this woman. He still wants to go back in time to go see this girl. Okay. Like I like that. I don't like a fucking raccoon who could talk or this fucking tree or this tree. Like I, it's cool, but I don't relate to it. Like I, like the Hulk who's the scientist and he's so he's, he's super nice and, and, and smart, but he, when he gets angry, he's like, like, you know, like I like that. Like, I don't like this. You see what I'm saying? I'm not trying yeah. to be a hater. I just missed the, the Yeah, you're a hater. I hear. And I did, I, I didn't hear what you're I never read the comics. Like, you're a hater. Like, oh, whatever, dude. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But it just it was it was I guess it was good. But we uh Raquel's photo booth she's been doing bigger events. Yeah. I have. So she does a photo booth. And uh, she just upgraded it. She's been doing bigger events, parties. Upgraded a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's, a, it's not just one. Don't do this to oh, me sorry. to talk. I, I, I'm I a boss, I, I, did, I, I just put my hand out. I didn't mean to, like, mm-hmm. like slap you. Okay, what happened? Anyways, um, we did a, a lot. So the photo booth that I was doing before was basically like a selfie booth. It was digital. Everything was digital. I, all I had to do was put the iPad in there, put in the thing, connect the the printer, connect the wireless thing that reads it, and that's it. That was like the only thing. I, I had did my designs. I uploaded them, did what I needed to do. That was it. All on my iPad. Now, when we upgraded the iPad stand... This one came, we purchased it because it has a, a, it could use a camera. And I ended up having to purchase a Microsoft Pro. Yeah, Microsoft Pro. I think that was called. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Microsoft Pro. A Microsoft Pro. uh, uh, What is it? Pro Surface. Yeah, Surface Pro. There you go. Uh, Surface Pro. Um, Because it's, uh, I guess, like a computer. I don't know. I don't really like. I, I'm more of an Apple person, um, so I had to buy the Surface Pro, and then I had to buy <laughs> a camera, <laughs> what, <laughs> and software, and cables, a flash. Um, what else did I purchase? Uh, everything that you think of, I probably purchased it, and. I, I'm one person where if I don't know, I obviously will YouTube or Google or whatever I need to do to figure it out, uh, look at things. And this one, literally, I felt like it took me like two weeks to figure it out. Like everything. Setting up how I wanted to set it up. Setting up the cables. Setting up the, uh, the camera. I purchased a camera because... I'm not trying to buy expensive stuff. Um, I'm trying to buy things that I'm able to use and then like build from there. And I purchased a camera and I was like, oh, cool. got this camera. It was like $300. It was on sale. Perfect. Perfect. Well, when I put everything together, nothing was working. The flash wasn't going off. Like it just, it wasn't working. So I had to like, fuck, like how the fuck am I going to figure this out? Like it should be cut and paste. Put the hot shoot on. The camera, connect that to the flash. It should go on. It should flash. Everything should work. Nope. It didn't work. Apparently, Canon stopped making certain cameras with a... I think it's called a pin at the top. Um, So, I had to return that. I got a new camera. And this one works wonderful. We're actually using it right now. <laughs> 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 We're actually using it right now. But um, then I had to figure out how to... S- connect the printer to the surface pro that had down software it just it it was a lot more to do but had a way better outcome like picture quality um 
the digital um, quality, the print quality, like everything just looks way better. It's way better. Way better. And yeah. I, I'm really happy because um, I raised my prices and I want to be able to offer people good quality stuff. I don't want to be able, I don't want to offer them basic things. Like I'm still going to use the other one, but that one's just going to be digital only. No prints coming from that. It's going to be a selfie booth. People can rent it out and that that's it. I only have one printer anyway, so that works out perfect. <laughs> yeah. And so the only next things we're going to have to purchase will probably be like another backdrop with like other kinds of um, designs. And then after that, I think we pretty much would be set besides thinking about purchasing another printer too. Yeah. And it's crazy because we're, I guess we'll say we're, we're slowly building. We're slowly building without, um, without having to take out a loan, Mm -hmm. without having to take out, like we're investing back into ourselves and we're slowly doing it and we're not having a high overhead. Like we're not paying, we're not spending all this money for it. We're just going as like, we get a gig, you pay for this, you like, yeah and, and soon we're about to have two and we'll, no we we'll, do have two no i'm saying like we're two that are this like with the backdrop with the printer like you know what i mean oh and like well the other one's just going to be digital yeah no prints from that one at all but it's just cool like i don't know what's right like maybe we go into this and just get a loan and buy all the stuff but no <laughs> the one thing that's cool is like i see my wife learning it all like i see it just her doing all the technical stuff, people hitting her up that own a photo booth and they're calling her for questions and she doesn't charge them. They just call her and they just, they, she's like, Oh, I just want to help. Like it's, if I'm able to help, I'll help. If I can't, I'll say like, this is how, what works for me. If it works for you, then that's great. You know? And it's just cool seeing, seeing her grow because I, I, I don't know how, I guess I'll ask the question after, but I don't know, like I, when I first met you, I had this thing was like, I like martial arts, mm-hmm. right? I, I want to do martial arts. I want to learn martial arts. Ever since you know me, I've been trying to learn. Yeah. Right. And take the fighting out of it. Take the, the coaching out of it. Mm-hmm. It's just, I just wanted to learn. I already had something I wanted to learn. Yeah. And I stick with, I stuck with it. I continue to learn. I continue to to go to it and when i first met you you were still trying to figure yourself out Mm -hmm. right and i think to this day still trying to figure out what you want to do i think i want to do is i want to do like the easiest thing that makes me the most money (laughs) 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 if i'm being honest that's that's basically it i want to be able to make money and not have to not have to work yeah. If I'm being completely honest, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to sleep it all day. <laughs> but it's not easy. That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's not easy. I think easy is the wrong word. I think self-efficient, being self, like self-employed and being your own boss. I think that's the word. I don't think, I think that's what you want to do. I don't think e- because it's not going to be easy. No, it's this not. is not easy. It, it, you know how many people I've, I've sorry. No, go on. Uh, you know how many people have told me like, oh, I want to do social media stuff. I want to do this. I want to do that. And it's hard to explain to them like, cool, like do it. Yeah. Right. But it's hard to explain them like, it's not the followers and getting the the people to, it's, it's not all like, it's not all the social media stuff that's hard. The hard part is, is I think the hardest part is is uh my buddy just said it um he calls it pressing the flesh pressing the flesh so if you shake my hand pressing the flesh okay like person to person contact is the hardest thing like yeah, people to make those don't connections don't do that <laughs> people making those connections and going out there like we do this podcast we do we do the social media stuff for your photo booth the we podcast photo gets booth. You, the, the podcast gets gets your photo booth out there the the social media gets your photo booth out there but the the one thing is pressing the flesh going out there and and putting yourself out there different events and and learning how to connect with people yeah that's that's 
that's the hard part. And and you've learned to do that. It was so hard for you in the beginning. It's still kind of hard, to be honest. <laughs> I'm kind of like, I, I kind of want to just, uh, it's not that I don't want people to talk to me. I just, I want to just run it and just have it going. Yeah. Like, and that's why you're there because you kind of talk to people. But then I think sometimes you get yourself stuck when you talk to people there. Why? Well, I, I, and it, <laughs> going back to the, what we we're talking about in the beginning is like that guy talked to me and I was like interested. Yeah. That's my problem is that if I'm not interested, I show it. You're just eye candy, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know how to talk to people. Like, I, and People even, go to just stare at your eyes. And, Stop and, it. And like. And like getting you to say like, I was like, dude, like people come up, you can't think of it as, as like, oh, they're, they're getting a picture. They're happy. They're cool. No, you're, this is what's cool about the photo booth. And this is what I love where it's like, what? oh, you, again, the podcast, the social media, that's good. Right. <clears throat> but you're, you're being able to press the flesh. You're being able to do it with everybody taking pictures. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody walking through at least one out of 10 people that take a picture at your photo booth. They're they're interested in wanting to have a photo booth. Yeah. So that they is you have to have like a procedure of every time someone comes through. If they even mention that, oh, this is a cool photo booth. Boom. Hey, I we also do other events, too. Like we're yeah. booking. We're booking now. Here's a, a, a sheet to fill out. You, or you can hit us up on, on Instagram, but here's the paper. Take it, talk it over. Let us know if you are interested. Yeah. Boom. It's it just, it's, it's such a, like, I'm so, um, I'm so, how do you call it? I'm so tr tr not traumatized. I'm so, I, it's so cool to me. Like it, I'm like, Oh, this is so cool. Like the, that, that it's built in marketing, right? Like you, you, like the things that we do, like people are, are trying to get people at their doorstep. Yeah. They're trying to get people the, uh, like to come in and, and see what they're about. You literally get, have something that people see what you're about already yeah. at the event you're at. So I did these little, you won't be able to see it, but Jesse probably put a picture. I ran out of business cards, but I also did these two, um, it's kind of like a, I guess, a customer intake if someone has a question or, or whatnot and, you know, they put their number, like what kind of party they're going to do, uh, their email, stuff like that. And I can reach back out to them. That way they kind of kind of have information on what they want. And when I did it, um, we ran out of business cards because I haven't really thought of a business, a business name either. <laughs> And so I'm That's still kind of, I'm still kind of, still don't have a I still name. I still don't have a name, you guys. So I kind of, Cow's photo I, I don't have a name and I don't want to make more business cards. I don't want to make as many as I had before. Um, but I probably should, to be honest. I've just been a little, um, <laughs> I was supposed to put follow up and like, this is my area and they put follow up text. <laughs> <laughs> so i had so much like i had two people do it on the other day like they you know put their information i got to reach back out to them um but this lady was like oh you know uh my daughter's godmother got her a photo booth for her skin set but it was like a 360 one she's like but i like your i your concept better yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. But she's in here. I don't so like I, the 360 ones. I said, I got to reach back out. Once I go around, I, I feel like. I feel like it's going to hit somebody in the head, to be not, honest. Not that. That's I just I don't think. like the like the movement. Like the little. Vi the, the like vi the f It goes. It's not, so it's it not goes, authentic to me. So it goes fast, but the video is in slow-mo. But it's not like. It's not authentic to me. Well, it's authentic, like, though. Like, mine's not authentic. Meaning, like, it's not. When you go up to a photo booth or you go to a photo or even think of it like when somebody's doing a video at a party, mm -hmm. you're being yourself, you're, you're partying, you're doing what you need, you, you're doing what you do at the party. Okay. It's not real to me getting on top of, a in platform. the middle of something and a platform and then having to be excited, you know, oh. when you're taking a picture or a little, a little, what's it called? Boomerang. Yeah. You're, you're in front, you're. 
you've done this before you, the the model is everywhere when you go you dude you've been taking people have been taking portraits forever at Macy's and, and you, you know what I mean yeah Macy's like, <laughs> you mean JC Penny JC Penny well we took ours at Macy's um, did you guys yeah um but it, it's something like oh let's go get a picture as a family the it just I don't know I, I don't know if people agree or if there's someone that really likes the you know the yeah 360 but I don't know like I, I haven't seen one I don't think I've seen one in person I have seen them like online and stuff you know yeah. instagram or tiktok or whatnot but i i i do like the the booth concept i mean it's you're technically not in a booth or a box or whatever um but it still gives you that that effect if you want like photo strips and stuff instead of like a four by six like this no you know what i've been loving and and doing you're doing the bigger events and stuff and it's not just like small little parties yeah um it's getting to hang out with you like i i it's it's pretty fun hmm. and then like what the watsonville one we went to the bar afterwards we went to the beer oh, mule yeah. and just that was hanging out good. with you by yourself like by ourselves like was pretty cool like i could see us doing this and just having fun with it right yeah out of all the stuff that we're doing and and uh i don't know it's, it's just fun it's fun and, and exciting right good times yeah and yeah so how do people if people want a photo booth how do people you can reach me on instagram raquel diaz designs and message me there message you and like mm -hmm. if they have an event they just book with you yep just reach out let, ask me if i have that day available i do have two photo booths now mm -hmm. so first come first serve one's digital only it's like a selfie booth it's like um I would say like at least two to three people can fit into that. Uh, obviously, if you wanted more, um, that'd be fine as well. But that wouldn't be any prints. And then our other photo booth that we have is our new one with the camera and the printer. Um, so you would get that as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the, the hassle of hair. Uh, and uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your week. We will see you next week. I love you guys. Have a great day. Have a good day. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? Mm. Sorry, I didn't even ask you. Nope. If you're looking for a photo booth, reach out. Raquel Diaz Designs. Motherfuckers. Peace. Why do you say that? I don't know. You don't, uh, you don't even talk like that. Uh, I don't? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. That's perfect. That's exactly <laughs> him.